Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. I wanted to show you guys how I would make a skill point farm alt account or how I would most optimally do this. There's no like, I'm not trying to say this is the one way and the only way to do it, but this is how I preferably would want to do it. Like it's always the case in EVE Online, there are many ways to do the same thing in different ways possible. I just find this to be the most like simplest method. So I'm going to then make an account, which is going to basically focus on training skills as fast as possible, which I could then eventually extract at a later point in time and then sell the skill extractors or even use the skill extractors for my main account. Uh, and I want to show you guys how I do it the simplest way possible. So I've made an account right here. He's an Omega. He's not got anything trained. He's even just started the tutorial as we'll see right here. You can see it says unknown there. And we'll get to Aura right here. But I just skip the tutorial right here. If I just click escape and then skip tutorial like this. There we go. Now I'll be transported into this air station. And then I undock and then go on the map. I'll just type in Jita because I keep everything in there. But I mean, if you're doing stuff in Amar, you can move it to Amar. But I do everything in Jita because all the good prices and everything is there. Just sort the overview a little bit. I don't really bother much because I mean it's just you're just going to be using this to farm skill points. So then what I do is I have this like special skill plan, and I actually if you want to get the skill plan I'm using, I have it on my account or my main account. So if you type AC Facey, you show information, and then on my bio I have this SP Farm Skill Plan V2. Click on this, and then you click on the Save a Copy. There we go. So now we've got a copy of these skills. And basically these skills are a bunch of skills which I chose because I think they are good in that the amount of skill points you get from these skills is very large. And there's not so many skills either required. So what I mean is like it's, it's many skills that are like high skill point skills. Many of these are like 1 million or even some 2 million I think skill points. And then another factor is that many of these skills uh, they are also very cheap. In fact, all of them are very cheap. So you basically have to invest very little in to be able to get these skills right here. So if we go on the show skill plan contents, this is the first cybernetics to five. This allows you then to carry the good implants. Uh, the good implants then like the really good training implants, which are basically you should be using if you're doing skill point farming because you train as much stuff as possible, as quick as possible with the good implants. So we've got it to level five. Then the first skills I train is then uh, planetary interaction skills and just the, you can you really don't even need to do these but i just added these because these are uh, nice skills that do not cost a lot of uh, money to get the skill point books and you also do like they are very big skills they have a lot of skill points in the skill itself like i think it's a million plus skill points in them and then they're also really good if like say you would want to use this account okay let's do a little bit of pi uh, farming on the side then you can get a little bit of extra isk from this as well so this is how it works. And then a lot of the other skills right here, basically all these other ones are basically like science skills, science skills. And these are really good because they're very cheap skill books and they also have very good like amount of skill points in the level five region because it'll be annoying, like very tedious. If you imagine I had a skill that had 250,000 skill points as the level five skill, then it would be very uh, tedious to have to like switch skills all the time. You, and now this makes so that I just have as little skill, a few skills as possible with the least amount of cost possible. Now I'm in Jita right here. I'll just dock up in the trade hub. And I've got a little bit of ISK or quite, a, I mean, depending on where your status is in EVE Online, a bit of ISK I gave from my main account to this. This is to be able to buy the implants we need to be able to get the good training speed. So I just type dash improved. These are the best implants you can get for training speed. And make sure you uh, sort by price. So we've got these five implants right here. And I don't have enough ISK for this last implant right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of more ISK on my account right here. Okay, so now we've got all the five implants that are good for training speed. And the reason why they're the best for training is because they give a five plus to the attributes which improve your training speed. You can obviously get the other ones like, I don't know, high grade crystal. But these guys give four plus to perception. The the improved ones give five plus. And they're really good for attributes, give the most amount of training speed. So then what do I do when I'm here? Well, I used a referral link on my account to be able to get 1 million extra skill points for free. So as you can see here, I got these 1 million skill points right here and you can use this by just clicking the link in the description below on a new character. Uh, so then I just redeem this. Redeem, you redeem. And then what I do is I then take this skill point farm uh, or SP farm skill plan. And then I just look on these skill books right here. Buy all missing skill books buy and inject and then i check on market for these other ones 
And then I buy these as well. It just buys all the skill books. Really handy, really handy. You can maybe even make this floating. I prefer it like this. And then we just take all these skill books. Inject. And inject. And now what we do is we take this SP farm and then just click start training. Now you see that we've got cybernetics trained first. So that's because I want to be able to fully utilize my implants or get most advantage out of them. So basically take as much training time as possible with my implants in. So I train these cybernetics skills first, apply skill points. Boom. We've got the cybernetics five trained. Now you can see it says 448 days to train all these skills. Now I just plug in these. And you see now we've saved off almost 100 days worth of skill training right here. Now we're training a lot quicker with these. Another thing I do is that I go into the attributes, then I remap. And the reason I also chose these skills is because they all use very similar attributes. In fact, basically the exact same attributes as that they've got the most amount of them in the primary in intelligence and secondary memory. And you can basically think that if you have attributes that are good like this, then you train faster. So the way you change these is then just go into attributes right here, remap. And since primary was intelligence, we want to put everything into intelligence and then the rest into memory. So we just take everything off, put everything into intelligence because that was a primary as we see here intelligence and then put the rest into memory which we'll do here i have some other plans for this character right here i'm going to use him for a different type of alt not particularly a skill farming alt but this is at least what i usually do on my actual skill farming alts the way i train these skills is also in a particular like order uh, of the levels what i mean by that is if we go on science this is where the majority of the skills are if we've got science and just type my skills make it a lot like more clear right here these encryption methods technology these kind of skills these are the main like you could say meat of your skill point farming you can see they have like 1 million skill points per per skill right here to get to level five and that's really good because it, like we don't have to change skills so often so let's say i've been training this alt for like i don't know maybe a few weeks months even probably months that's when i usually extract so i probably then come to maybe past astrometrics acquisition right here and then we come to these level four level five I've ordered them in a particular way. So you get like level one to level three out of the way quickly. So you can see I'm training all these level, level one, uh, two, three, almost just level one to three, a few level fours, but mainly just level one to three, one to three, one to three. And then eventually I come here. Then I'm at level four to five. And usually by this point, you've got the five million skill points you need or five and a half million skill points you need to be able to extract. So then you've come, to, you've basically, you've got all your skills to level three. And then you're training level four to five. So now each skill, I train it individually. You see, when I come to like command center upgrades, I train four and then five directly afterwards. When it comes to interplanetary command slowdation, I always train four and then five. I don't train four, 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 and then five, five, five. I always train the individual skill four and five because this makes it so that it's just a lot simpler when you're extracting later. Because then I have like, say, a mar encryption methods to level five, a caldera encryption methods to level five. Then I can fully like extract the skill instead of having a bunch of like uh, splits. Like I don't have to click on a bunch of different skills. I'm just doing one. So I'm putting like, you could think of it, I'm putting as much skill points into one skill as possible so that I save the the amount of clicks i know it sounds very like lazy but it just saves a bit of time just training one skill to the max first but i also train them as i said before to level three first so that when i'm going to replace these skills later there's like less clicking say i've extracted all the skill points and then i'll just do is Control a delete and then what i do is just go in the plan and then just start training again as much as it can and then just starts from the beginning so that's exactly what i do after i've then uh, started extracting because I find the order to be very nice to follow because you just uh, get everything done in a, like a systematic uh, order. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys how I'd actually go about doing this extraction of skills on one of my alts right here. So we've got this alt right here who has actually got quite a bit of skill points accumulated over time and is following that exact skill plan that I mentioned. And you can see here we've got a bunch of anarchic skill points I've got for like redeem queues and like events and these kind of stuff. So I'll just apply these. These are not from that referral link. These are just from like events like Christmas event and all this kind of stuff where we get free skill points. So there we go. We've trained a bit more skills. And now I'm going to extract. So what I usually do is I go in the Plex store, whatever it is, the New Eden store. And then I buy these skill extractors on the bigger bulk because it's a little bit cheaper to do it that way. So we just go here. Actually, no, go to services, service, service, service. Please, this, this store is very slow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, 10 skill extractors, and then we buy two of these. By now, we've got just enough plex to do that. 
Okay, we've got these. Then what we do is just redeem these. Okay, and then we've got these extractors. We just double click. And what we can do here, just first of all, just delete all the skills. Control A delete because it just makes everything a lot easier. So we can go in the science, exactly what I said before. And then what I do is I just go here and just do one skill each time. So that it becomes a lot easier because if we're just having level fours and everything, like I said before, it's just going to be very like messy. It's just a lot easier just to focus on one skill at a time that you've trained to level five. Like this and then just keep going. Like this, you see, we just keep going like this from skill by skill. That's why the exact reason why I train like four to five and not four, four, four and five, five, five. If that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, extract this. I just, I just keep doing that. All these skills right here until we've hit that limit of 5.5 .5 million skill points that you can't extract anymore. Okay, there we go. So we've now extracted all the skills because you can, if I double click here, there's 5.5 .5 million I need. And we can sometimes check as well. Because sometimes it's bugged a bit, but no, it's not bugged. Because so, sometimes it'll be bugged that I have over 5.5 million skill points, but I still can't extract. Then you have to like relog. But these are all the extractors we managed to get from that amount of skill points. And we've got some skill extractors for later, which we can use as another point in time. And then what I do when I'm done is, as I said before, just go in the skill plan and then start training. It puts everything in the original order so that you have everything queued up really nice like this. So that's how I make skill point alts. I maximize the amount of skill points I get by using the augmentations, the improved implants. And then I do the remap, which would be then my mainly intelligence and then a little bit extra into memory. And then when it comes to the skill plan, just type my name, AC facey, and then show info and then just click on the skill point plan you see right here and start training that. And I also use this 1 million skill point link right here to be able to get 1 million free skill points to just sp to speed it up in the beginning. I hope that helps you. hope it's clear. If you did enjoy the video or learn something new, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.